Today I'm doing a video on my picture saver scanning system, PS Kodak PS50 with perfect touch technology or compatible with Kodak perfect touch technology. This is a high speed photo scanner. I've used it, I've owned this now for the past six plus years and I've scanned hundreds of thousands of photos. My story goes like this. I was using an Epson V600 scanner to scan my physical photos that I took from the 70s, 80s, 90s, until digital came out. And I think I started taking digital pictures in the late 90s to the early 2000s. Before then, physical photos. So I had myself several thousand photos anyway i did a project of scanning family photos and those family photos consisted of eleven thousand photos so i started to scan and i um i was scanning them with my epson v600 flatbed scanner that took me seven months averaging about four hours a day dedicating to scanning and what a relief when I finished. But I still had another, I think it was 17,000 pictures of friends. So I had split my pictures from family and friends. So I was going to start the friends photos later on, but I decided to uh, wait a little bit. And I actually showed the pictures to my family. They were so excited that I had scanned and digitized all the photos that they wanted their photos digitized. Make a long story shorter, or I'm sorry, I made it a little bit too long, but shorten the story. I ended up with a total of about 55,000 pictures more than the original 11,000. And I couldn't see myself scanning it with a flatbed scanner. That was going to take me, you know, a couple of years to finish or more. So I started looking around and I saw this online. Now this wasn't being really sold by retailers. I think B&H, which is a high-end, uh, a seller of high-end products. I did a lot of research on this specific scanner, the, uh, this uh, scanner. And I saw that uh, companies like Walmart and other large companies were purchasing these scanners to allow their customers to, to scan uh, their photos. And when I started to do research, I figured uh, they got good praise. Everybody was happy with their scans. And I figured that if the companies were buying them for Joe Schmo, like myself, regular guy coming in from the street with a bunch of photos, a stack of photos, wanting to scan them. If I can just come and figure it out in two seconds to scan my photos, then I figured two things are coming. Uh, two things are happening when Walmart is using this for their customers. One, ease of use. Probably going to be very easy to use. Not a big deal. Two, the quality of the product lasting uh, for a very long time since in uh, department stores, this will probably be used in hundreds of thousands of scanning of scans or maybe millions of scans. And if it can stand up to that, then it'll definitely work for me. So this was the only one I could find that I also, one of the biggest thing is that it's the only one I could find that did TIFF format. TIFF allows you to scan a photo, physical photo, and then put it in TIFF format, which you can edit it in different programs. So I love this scan. It works very well. Let me show you very quickly uh, the way, you know, how fast it is and how happy I am. And it's been six, seven, maybe six months. Oh, over six years and it's still working like it did the day that I purchased it now uh, two things with the scanner when you first purchase it the drivers and software when you install it the power buttons in the back here it's under here as you can see right there so the scanner is very compact let me show you I'm gonna close it up okay so now that it's Close, you spin it. Sorry, I have one hand. I'm trying to, okay. Right, let's 
kind of heavy. And it actually pretty thin, pretty small. There's the uh, power button, Kodak, USB 2.0, and the power plug goes right in the back there. And to open it, you kind of just flip it like this, flip this up, plug it into your computer, USB 2.0 or above plug, but it is only USB 2.0. And the driver software that comes with it, free version, works uh, very well. It's down here and there's many, many options that it gives you. Right here. And you can scan in JPEG and with the standard software that it comes with, the driver software, you can scan in PDF, uh, JPEG, uh, I guess these are the options. It doesn't give you many uh, advanced features that I want, which is the TIFF format in color. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have it. TIFF format in color gives you different options. You can scan in PDF and JPEG and TIFF black and white only. Configure. I'll, you know, I'll do a separate video on the actual program interface that comes with it. So I'll do that later. But let me show you the software I use. Now, this scanner was very expensive when I did the research and looked at it and figured it would work for me. So it took me a long time to come up to the, you know, decision of actually purchasing it. It was well over $1,000. And that, I was like, wow. So then when I ended up getting it, I saw that I had to purchase an additional piece of software to get it working to what I wanted to do with it, to get a little bit ease of use and advanced features. And that was to actually purchase the Picture Saver System program, which cost me an additional, I think two or $300. The sad part is, is after six years, I've recently called them and I was having issues with installing this on another uh, computer. And I'll do a video on what, how I ended up fixing that. But what I did was um, um, I called them to get assistance because I couldn't get it registered. Now, this program here comes with this key here. If you try to run the program without this key, you'll get an error. And that's the error you will get. So it, not only do you need a license key for this, the serial number of the actual scanner, but you also need this USB key to get this program to work. Now, the problem I was having was that when I installed it on another computer, I couldn't get it registered. You also need to register it when you install it, this program. You need to register the program. So I had a big issue with that and I'm going to actually do a separate video on that because it's a long process. Uh, so that's what I ended up having to do to scan the additional 55,000 photos. So this is the program that I purchased, Photo Scanner System. And I'm going to have to insert the key into my computer. And now when I run it, I won't get the error that I got earlier and it'll open up. All right, so now we're at the program. So I did a video on the interface. I'm just gonna put order number, because this is used by this program and this scan is used by manufacturer, this is what you end up doing to order your scans so that they can, I guess, print them out or give it to you digitally or email them to you, whatever you choose at the store. But at home, 
I just put zero one and I do continue. And then I just leave it at folder zero zero one or whatever you want to name your folder name. You just have to, it goes under the pictures folders. So it'll go under users, um, your user account and then your pictures folder. So when you click on, you know, my documents or my computer, uh, you should see it under uh, the pictures folder, the default pictures folders on a Windows computer. Click OK. And these are the different options you get. Again, I did a interface video on this, so you can get more details. You can look that up. But this is what I'm interested in, the TIFF no compression. And I leave it at 600 DPI. I click OK. And the speed in scanning this, again, 55,000 pictures in two weeks, over 55,000 pictures in two weeks compared to uh, 11,000 in seven months. A big difference, huge time saver. So I continue to do this friends, for friends and family scanning pictures and I don't have a problem in uh, doing it for them because I believe that we should not throw away our analog life. We should make digitize it to uh, keep it alive forever, which is uh, what I'm hoping uh, to help people do, uh, friends and family wise. So this is a batch of photos that I received from a friend of mine. I broke them up into uh, piles of 30. So there's 30 pictures here, 30 pictures here, and 30 pictures here and 10 here. So it's a total of 100 photos. And we're gonna scan them, see how long they take in real world uh, scanning. So I turned on the scanner. According to the actual scanner, it says you can only put up to 25 photos. I put 30. I get away with 30 and it, I've had no issues whatsoever. I usually don't do this. You usually want them facing the same direction. I do, uh, I separate the photos in batches of landscape and portrait. So I separated these in the landscape mode and I'm only going to scan landscape. So that way they actually don't go in crooked or anything like that. So I'm going to show you what I do and show you how it works. Now, if you press this button, this will initiate the free software that came with it. I'm not using that. I'm actually using the program. So I'm going to have to come up here and click on the batch scan. And it will initiate the scanner to start scanning. Real world test. Let's see how long it takes. Batch scan. Always handle your pictures with white gloves or some kind of glove that doesn't uh, smudge the actual scanner itself. Oh, that didn't go in correctly. Let's try that again. I'm sorry, I needed to push it a little further down. Let's try it again. There it goes. I'm doing both sides. It takes about two to three seconds to scan both sides, about one, one and a half seconds to scan one side. So it's pretty fast. Let me open this further. And what I do is I just continue to add photos. So you can see they keep coming up. They come up on the screen. Got 
got the next batch ready. You can rotate the pictures with the program, edit them a little bit, uh, but I would actually just use the TIFF program and open an advanced, uh, you know, Photoshop, some kind of program like that to do some major edits. And since they're in TIFF format and there's no compression, it should give you a lot of options when it comes to using those programs. Four minutes to scan 100 pictures, four minutes. So that's probably about, what, 20 minutes per 1,000 pictures? So I could have done my 11,000 pictures in just one day uh, compared to using the flatbed scanner. What a difference when you're using this scanner. Awesome, awesome scanner. And all the pictures come out, pretty quick transfer. Even though it's USB 2.0 plug, it does a great job. Now, usually I scan both sides because uh, in the back, in some of the pictures, there'll be uh, a date on it or some writing. And I, I don't know if you can see in the bottom there, uh, there might be a serial number or a date. And I like to capture that if persons, I've met some really smart people that what they ended up doing, which I wish I would have done, they wrote in the back specifically the location time date and it was nice to have that information so you'll have the photo and then the back of the photo uh, the back of the photo which is pretty cool so i really really like this software uh i like this scanner it works very very well now i'm going to do a video on an issue i had with installing on an additional computer so, like I said, this is no longer supported by the company. Sad Kodak, I think, is no more. They've sold off all their pieces to anyone that would buy it. And um, it's not the Kodak that we knew from the past. Now, that being said, it's still working, and I'm still going to use it as long as it continues to work. All right, I, uh, this is just showing the PS50. This also goes, I believe, for the PS80. There was one small reason why I didn't buy the PS80 over the PS50. I know one is price and two, it was something else. Um, but if I remember correctly, one of the differences was speed. I believe the PS80 is, uh, does things in a high rate of speed. Plus it was much more expensive. And those were the ones that were purchased also by department stores uh, because they had what was called a, uh, it was a a large bin to put in hundreds of photos, I believe, uh, to scan all at once. So it gave you an option to do that also. I didn't need that. I can just, you know, put them in piles of 
30 and scanned them with no issues. I think it was about three times the price. So that was another, you know, big difference. So much more high rate of speed, much more industrial, much more uh, high end, uh, being able to scan thousands of pictures. But this worked just fine. And this was also being purchased by some other stores also. So um, that was the difference between the two, if I remember correctly. And real quick before I end the video, these numbers here are just uh, smart touch configuration settings. And that's done with the standard software that comes with it. That's why with the software that I'm using here, I have to use the button over using this physical button. And this is just to do it real quick. It's an automatic type of thing. And if you right click on the bottom here, you will see the different numbers represented here, which is one through nine. And you can go in there and customize these. I'm gonna do another video on that just to look at this actual program, the one that comes with by default. And you can see it represented here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Goes back to one again, representing this here. I'm ending my video. Thank you for watching. This thing works great. I love it. I hopefully will be getting many more hundreds of thousands more photo scans, scanned for persons. Um, I hope you like the video. Please, I don't know, ask, you know, I, I don't, I'm not an expert on this. I'm just a regular user who purchased it. And if it works for me, it'll work for you. But if you want information on it, uh, and I can answer the question. Please feel free to ask it below. Have a good day. And uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Goodbye. And just before I end the video, please make sure to always keep the scanner covered with the cover that it comes with. That keeps dust out of the rollers and the imaging strips. It's a nightmare. Believe you me, it's really difficult to clean this. They, I don't even know if they sell the cleaning stuff anymore. I have a couple left and it helps me clean the scanner, but you don't want to get dirt on the rollers. You'll get streaks on the pictures. You don't want any of that. Just keep it covered and you should do really well. Uh, you probably won't be able to have to, you won't have to clean it for several thousand scans. So just keep it covered at all times. Kodak PS50 Picture Saber Scanning System, BH Cops 50s, MFR number 1,993,807. In the box, Kodak PS50 Picture Saber Scanning System, USB software dongle, power supply, international power cords, picture saver scanning software, smart touch application, instruction manual, Cleaning Supplies Starter Pack, UL, 51, Brilliant Eyes Detailer Wipes 51, Roller Cleaning Pads 51, Transport Cleaning UL, Dust Cover, Pre-Separation Pad, Document Separation Module, Limited One Year Warranty, Kodak PS50 Overview. The PS50 Picture Saber Scanning System from Kodak features a 600 dpi scan resolution and a 48-bit color depth. The PS50 can scan 4.0 x 6.0 inches photos at up to 50 per minute. Kodak's Perfect Touch technology performs retouching and color correction as you scan. It also includes auto desk hue, auto cropping, and post-scan image sharpening. Icon-based navigation. Built-in automatic image processing. Carrier designed to handle fragile photos and documents. Image guide reduces streaking on images. Duplex scanning captures two-sided documents and notes on the back of photos. Optional A3 and legal size flatbeds handle large or fragile photos, documents and bond materials such as photo albums and old prints. Output image files to a USB drive, CD, DVD, or a Kodak Picture CD. Send images to cell phones, tablets and computers. Archive and backup valuable photos and documents.
Kodak Picture Saber scanning software features an icon-based interface and offers a variety of automatic and manual image improvements for both photo and document scanning. Perfect Touch technology automatically delivers fewer dark shadows and enhanced color and detail. Built-in image processing enhances color, brightness, and contrast, removes red eye, and automatically rotates and straightens images. Smart Touch functionality lets you assign one-touch shortcuts to common scanning tasks. Change settings in the middle of a scanning job for greater control over how items are scanned and to enhance workflow. Extract individual images from a composite image and save each as a separate file so that fragile album pages don't need to be taken apart, minimizing the risk of damaging photos. Please note, the photo selector accessory option requires the legal or A3 flatbed accessory. In the box. Kodak PS50 Picture Saber Scanning System. USB Software Dongle. Power Supply. International Power Cords. Picture Saver Scanning Software Smart Touch Application Instruction Manual Cleaning Supplies Starter Pack UL 51 Brilliantized Detailer Wipes 51 Roller Cleaning Pads 51 Transport Cleaning UL Dust Cover Pre-Separation Pad Document Separation Module Limited 1 Year Warranty User Manual 8.3 MB Kodak PS50 Specs Scan Quality Scanner Type Dual CCD Optical Resolution 600 DPI Output Resolution 300 DPI 600 DPI 1200 DPI Color Depth Color Input 48-bit Color Output 24-bit Grayscale 256 Levels 8-bit File formats image, JPEG, document, TIFF, JPEG, RTF, BMP, PDF, searchable PDF, scan modes scan to portable USB drive, DVD, CD, Kodak Picture CD, media weight 9 to 110 pounds, 34 to 413 GM2, thickness ID cards up to 49.21 mil, 1.25 mm scan area scanner 2.0 x 2.5 to 8.5 x 34.0 inches 5.08 x 6.35 to 21.59 x 86.36 centimeters scanner with a3 flatbed 2.0 x 2.5 to 11.9 x 18.2 inches 5.08 x 6.35 to 30.22 x 46.23 centimeters. Scanner with legal size flatbed. 2.0 x 2.5 to 8.5 x 14.0 inches. 5.08 x 6.35 to 21.59 x 35.56 centimeters. Performance. Scan speed up to 54.0 x 6.0 inches. 10.16 x 15.24 cm, prints per minute. Batch scanning photo, up to 25. Document, up to 50 sheets. Scanner features perfect page scanning, eye thresholding, adaptive threshold processing, desk queue, auto crop, relative cropping, aggressive cropping, electronic color dropout, dual stream scanning, interactive color, Brightness and contrast adjustment, auto orientation, auto color detection, background color smoothing, smart touch, connectivity, interface USB 2.0, OS compatibility XP 32 bit SP3, XP 64 bit SP2, Vista SP2, 32 64 bit, Windows 7 SP1, 32 64 bit, Windows 8, 32 64-bit. Mac OS X 10.6 to 10.10 and later, applies to driver only, user must supply own scanning applications such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Elements. Recommended system configuration 400 dpi, Intel Core 2, 2.1 GHz dual processor or equivalent, 2 GB RAM. Above 400 dpi, Intel Core 2, 
2.1 GHz dual processor or equivalent, 4 GB RAM. Note, for optimal performance when running Windows 7, at least 3 GB RAM is recommended. Physical. Light source dual indirect LED. Power requirements 100 to 240 V, 50 to 60 Hz. Electrical ratings 24 VDC, 1.875 A. Power consumption scanning, 32.0 W. Sleep mode, 4.0 W. Off mode, 0.35 W. Certifications as NZSE ISPR 22, 2006 Class B, RCM, CAN CSA, C22, 2 No. 60950-107, CUL Mark, Canada ISIS 003 Issue 4, Class B, GB 4943, GB 9254, Class B, GB 17625.1 Harmonics, CCCS and E Mark, EN 55022 IDE Emissions, Class B, EN 61000-33 Flicker, EN 55024 IDE Immunity, CE Mark, EN 60950-1, 2006 Second Ed, CE Mark, IEC 60950-1, 2005 Second Ed, CISPR 22, Class B, UL 60950, 107 UL Mark, CFR 47 Part 15 Subpart BFCC Class B, Argentina S Mark, Russia Ghost. Temperature Humidity Operating Temperature, 50 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 35 degrees Celsius. Operating Humidity, 15 to 76 percent. Dimensions 13.0 x 6.3 x 9.7 inches, 33.0 x 16.2 x 24.6 centimeters. Dimensions exclude including input and output trays. Weight 12.0 pounds, 5.5 kg. Packaging info. Package weight 19.25 pounds. Box dimensions, LXWXH. 16.5 x 13.8 x 10.8 inches.